We are now going to look at the Epson Picture Mate. The Picture Mate makes it possible to take photographs and print them out without too much fuss. It is easy to use once you familiarise yourself with each of the different parts. This is a view of the front of the Picture Mate. In this shot, the handle is in the up position, ready for carrying. The handle folds down again to allow you to open up the top. This is a view of the Picture Mate from the back. You can see that I've got the wire in here. Um, it's connected to the mains. There is an optional battery pack. I don't have one. But if you did have one, it means that you could take your Picture Mate machine anywhere, even out on a picnic or a day out at the beach, whatever, over to Granny's, and you can print out photographs without having to connect to um, the mains. So here's the on and off switch, quite clear. Um, when the machine's turned on, this greeny yellow light will illuminate. This is a memory stick, sometimes known as a flash pen. I have stored my photographs on this from my camera. And now I'm going to show you how easy it is to transfer photographs from your memory stick into your picture mate and then to print them out. You can even edit with the picture mate. You can make photographs look better, lighter or darker. You can remove red eye. You can even produce photographs in sepia, which is sort of brown, pale brown colours, a kind of an old fashioned look, or black and white. The next shot will show you where the memory stick is placed. And the machine does all the work. It will upload the photographs instantly for you. If you don't have a memory stick to store your photographs on or you simply haven't learned how to get your photographs from your camera into a memory stick for storage then the Picture Mate solves that problem because all you have to do is take out the memory card from inside your camera which should be easily accessible and you can slide it into one of these slots here there's a smaller slot and a larger slot and you will get a little sheath um, that helps the, the memory card to connect and you just slide it in and it will upload the photographs automatically just as it does with the memory stick as explained earlier. So here we are. The memory stick has a USB end and this simply slots into a slot on the back of the Picture Mate photograph producer and it's very easy once you pop it in there the Picture Mate detects that it has a memory stick in and it uploads the photographs automatically and it gives you a view of the photographs on the top there's a little viewing window and that's what you're going to see in the next shot So here is the viewing window. Once the USB memory stick is connected to the back of the Picture Mate, all of the photographs are uploaded automatically and you will be able to view them one by one on this little black monitor or screen which is on top of the Picture Mate. You can use the arrows to go from left to right to run through all of your photographs that you have stored on your memory stick. You can see here that the screen has been pulled forward a little and I've turned the Picture Mate on and this is the first thing that you see on the screen and then within a few seconds your photographs will be loaded. This is a shot of the Picture Mate screen. 
And you can see that it's quite detailed. It shows me the date that the photograph was taken on the 13th of February in this example, 2008. You can also see that this is picture 155 of a total of 158 that is being stored on the memory stick. The photograph that I'm selecting is the one, the large one in the middle of the screen. However, have a look underneath, you will see how the photographs are displayed in line and you can work your way through using the arrows which we will look at closer. Once you have chosen the photograph or you find the photograph that you want, you just click on the OK button and this selects the photograph. The arrows in the picture will help us to move through the line of photographs underneath the large photograph in the middle that we have just seen. We can either go use the right one to go forwards through the line of photographs. It's just like working your way through a pile of photographs, but we're doing it digitally. We go to the right to move through the pile, or we move to the left with the left arrow to move back through the pile. It's just the same as sifting through the photographs to find the one that you would really like to have a print of. That's the beauty of having a digital camera. You can take lots of images and then you, if you have a picture mate, you can actually just print out the ones that you like the best, discarding the others or even turning the others into a photo story, which by the way, is how I've made this presentation for you. It's actually a series of photographs joined up using a particular piece of software called Photo Story. Perhaps if you come across it, you might like to ha give it a go because Photo Story is very, very easy to use. Anyway, moving on with Picture Mate. So here is the print button. By pressing the print when prompted through a message on the screen where the photograph is, the photograph will actually come out, as we've described earlier, at the bottom at the front of the machine. In the next shot, you'll see where we place the photograph paper. Here in the shot, you can see that I have dropped down the kind of lip or little plastic plate that the photographs are going to sit on once they're printed out. The photographs come out from the bottom here and the paper is fed in through the top. And you'll see that in the next shot. You can see in this shot that I'm placing a single piece of photographic paper in a little slot down behind the, um, the screen there that displays the photograph that we're about to print. Once I'm happy that the photographic paper is in the correct position, I simply press on the green button that says print. The machine gets ready to print within about two seconds and then I press print again and the photograph comes out. It takes around 20 to 30 seconds to complete. You're then ready to feed in another piece of paper having selected another photograph for your album. When you're more familiar with your picture mate, it would be worthwhile to have a look in the menu. Press the menu button. From here, you can decide to print several prints of the same photograph. You might want black and white. You might want sepia to make them look old fashioned. You can even crop images and you can add really nice borders to use them for gifts. In this shot, I've taken a photograph for you to see where the print cartridge goes at the back of the picture mate. It simply slides in and slides out. The cost of the cartridges is around £16 for paper and ink for 50 photographs. For 150 it's around £38. You've reached the end of this tutorial. 
I hope that it's been useful for you.